Hey, what's up everyone? Saints fan here, and today we're going to be doing a trailer breakdown on the Cunning Stunts DLC trailer. It wasn't too long, it was only 51 seconds, but there's just so much in it. Before we do hop into the trailer itself, I want to read what Rockstar put on the Newswire, as well as show the screenshots from the Newswire. You can see some really awesome things in them as well. So it starts off by saying, Be daring, defy gravity, and punch your fears straight in the mouth with the Cunning Stunts, a visually surreal and over-the-top evolution to racing in gta online coming tuesday july 12th that's like crazy how it comes out in literally five or six days sun races happen on a massive scale towering above the los santos skyline or soaring between the treacherous blades of ron alternate's wind farm vehicles tear upside down through hoops and tubes launching off ramps with extra propulsion from speed strips diverge and merge across multiple pathways and speed through gigantic rings of fire and death defying new races. The jumps, gaps, terrain, and obstacles in each race are tailored to match the attributes of specific vehicle classes, including new supercars, sports cars, and motorbikes. And of course, racing livery clad vehicles deserve appropriately tatted and dressed drivers, sporting new motocross gear, racing suits, helmets, and a host of other new additions. Stay tuned to the Rockstar Newswire for full details coming this Tuesday or next Tuesday. So yeah, those pictures look awesome. The description sounds awesome. It's interesting how they say only new super sports and motorbikes. Uh, I'll get into that in a second, but yeah, let's hop into the trailer now. So here we have the first scene and there's quite a bit going on. So yes, there's the three people with the three cars in the background. The three people are wearing the brand new clothing, uh, as you can see. And I think those helmets are even new. Uh, the clothing looks amazing. I can't wait to see what else they've added. And then the three cars in the background. So we have from left to right on the left there. That's what I'm assuming to be sort of like the Fudo competition. And that's based off of the Audi Quattro, I want to say. Uh, and funny enough, that's actually one of the cars that I mentioned like way back, like two or three months back in my top 10 cars. I would like to see come in like a tuner update. So that's kind of funny. Uh, and then in the back middle, that's a trophy truck, which is another car that people have been requesting and that's really cool uh, and then on the right there that is one of the new supercars I don't know what it's going to be called but it, it's actually different from the one they showed off in the newswire post like in the pictures and the screenshots they released these next couple of scenes you can see just like the craziness of these races I mean and just the props that they've added you can see this one's over the Alamo see the giant freaking tire here we have one at nighttime going throughout the entire city and then here we have the tubes with bowling pins on the bottom right there no idea why there's bowling pins there but it's whatever dude it's it's gonna be really fun uh so here we have all the cars lining up and there's quite a few different cars here so the ones on the left we have they say obey underneath the license plate that's what the quattro is from the beginning and the ones on the right here actually say lampadati as you can see and we actually get a better look at them in a second but this is what i believe to be called the stratos in real life uh, and forgive me if I like botch any of these names because as mo as many of you guys know I'm not a hardcore car enthusiast So if anybody wants to help me out and be kind in the comment section, please do uh, But here we have a better look at those cars and we have the blue in there I don't know uh, if there's a difference between the blue in here and the orange one right behind it You can see there's some different modifications. I don't know if it's the same car or not uh, but even looking at the customization for all of these there's a lot of different customization to choose from a lot of different liveries a lot of different like front bumpers and and uh headlights it looks like it's gonna be really awesome to see how much they actually added into it and then here we have the freaking like mario <laughs> we got the uh the giant boosts and you'll see that i think at some point these people crash because apparently this stuff is pretty dangerous uh, as you would expect going super fast and then gaining even more speed by hitting the boost here we have an up close look at a redwood livery on the brand new obey car looks pretty interesting and then, then you can see there's like the freaking windmill uh sort of turbines inside of these tubes and yeah you're gonna have to be a good driver because if you're not you're gonna blow up like those guys did here we have those new supercars again although pretty dark so you can't see too much detail but you can get a nice up close look right here. They actually made a shark card livery. That's, you know, way back in the day, there was a post going around where somebody made a shark card livery and they actually made that happen. I don't know 
what car this is based off of in real life. So if anyone wants to let me know, please do. But continuing on, these guys just keep racing and then they all crash because they don't know how to drive. <laughs> uh, and then we move up into like Sandy Shores area. We got the Audis again. What's interesting about this scene is like they can control their cars super well. Well, I guess some people can and some people can't as uh, those people crash and blow up. But if we go back here, like not only just this white car in the er, in the middle, but like the car in front of them and the car to the left, they're actually controlling their cars what looks to be really easily. And that's not really in the game. So I'm going to be wondering if that's sort of an external modification that you have to put on your car, sort of like hydraulics, and you can control your car easier in uh, in the air, or if that's just something built into the car and into these races. Here we have that pinball our bowling pin machine track. And then here we have that Lampadati, the Stratos, I believe. Uh, a little bit up close. Looks really interesting. Looks really cool. You can see some more of the liveries on some of these cars. And one thing it'll be interesting to see if these stickers, if that's going to be something that's part of the livery or if that's just something that potentially you can add or maybe even acquire. That'd be something pretty interesting. Now, here we have the trophy trucks racing with this brand new motorcycle and it actually looks like there's two different versions of the trophy truck so we have this black one which is the more traditional looking trophy truck uh, and then if we actually scroll through frames here you can see we have this freaking contraption which uh, does not look like that black one although it's, it looks pretty interesting and it's got a cool little like livery on it but one thing and I guess this kind of uh, confirms that these trophy trucks will be in the off-road category unless they move these the motorcycles too but you can see that new motorcycle here looks really interesting I, it almost looks like a sanchez so i don't know if the modification if this is going to be something you upgrade in say a new workshop or if it's going to be a separate vehicle or a separate motorcycle that's kind of the one thing we don't know about all of this stuff like if the modifications if there's going to be like a regular version and a stunt version or you just go to the website and purchase it like it is now here we have some more of those new supercars and we actually have a new one there in the front the red and the white that's i want to say a lexus lfa and it looks freaking beautiful it's got a dense livery on as you can see and you can see some of the other liveries on the other vehicles as well as this freaking uh super crazy track that's going like straight into the ground into the military base Next, we move on to some uh, some competition for the Panto. I want to say these are like the Fiat Fiat 500 or I don't know. There's like a number after it. But yeah, like, there's some craziness going on here. We got looks like some custom rims, perhaps. Uh, and then you can see the different liveries on a few of these. We got a Sprunk one on the bottom there. We got the Atomic on this one in the very front. Moving on, these motorcycles are jumping through the Vinewood sign. I don't, you can't really tell from a few of these angles if these are new or not. I would imagine, I mean, they did say in the Newswire post there are going to be some new ones. Uh, but I would imagine they would kind of be on par. That one actually looks, that one looks like a new dirt bike. So we have two new dirt bikes, perhaps. Uh, and then, I th that almost looks like the baddie. So it's probably a mix between new ones and not new ones. Here we have an overview of the craziness. And then I think it wraps it up. But, like, look at that. This... This is going to really revolutionize racing. And, you know, one of the games that I really like playing, you know, I, well, Mario Kart, obviously, that's one of them. Track Mania. Like, this, I, th I feel like, is going to uh, be really fun for a lot of people in GTA. Let me know in the comment section what you all think of this. Hopefully, you enjoyed the breakdown. If I missed anything, let me know in the comments. See you all in the next video, though. I'm hyped for this. We got, like, five more days until it comes out. So, subscribe if you're not already, because I'll be doing a bunch of live streams, a bunch of videos, playing with you guys on PC and console. So, yeah. See you all in the next one. As always, it's your boy Saints Venom out. Peace.